Hey, what's up everybody? Dave here. And uh, we're going to take a look at the the new May 2016 13th Age Monthly. And it is called Coin Tricks. And it is a nine-page PDF by Rob Heinsohn and Lynn Hardy. And uh, it is available in the 13th Age Monthly subscription for $24.95 a year. Or if you want to get the just this PDF there, $2.95. Uh, available also and uh, the basically the theme is the coin tricks basically the different types of currency within 13th age a little bit of lore about them and also how uh, several of the icons are reflected with this uh, with these coins now there's also a Kickstarter going on with a company that makes uh, some coins for 13th age and also the symbols for all of the 13 icons or the runes for the icons so I'm, I'm pretty sure this is probably why this monthly PDF is themed coin tricks uh, because of the Kickstarter and the PDF does actually mention the Kickstarter as well so on the cover you can see that there are some uh, dwarven squares gold currency and uh, these have a pretty cool story to them and we'll get those and but these are all uh, dwarvish coins now you can see the the PDF is professionally done all of the PDFs that the uh, that are available in the 13th age monthly subscription are all nicely done now the first part of the uh, the coin tricks PDF is basically material that's referenced from the core 13th age book and it talks about the three different standard types of coins being the the imperials don't call them imps because that's like sort of like derogatory uh, so yeah just call them imperials there's also the the towers the dwarven towers and the trines and the trines are made by the elves and it's a mixture of silver gold and platinum and they have uh, a higher gold piece value than just say a one for one so all right now the the first section is dealing with the lich king and some undead that are involved with these coins and uh, it talks about how the wizard king which is the lich king back in you know uh, a previous age the wizard king you know was the ruler of his or her kingdom and they would have special coins well uh apparently these coins have survived over the age and now the undead have them whether it's embedded in them or not and there's a couple cool undeads as well and basically it just talks about how before the lich came the lich king became the lich king uh... you know he was basically the wizard king and there are some currencies or some lore about that and then it talks about uh... ghoul stamping and the coin zombies and a nice piece of uh, art here uh, who did the art this month? Uh, the interior art is Rich Langmore, so he's done quite a bit of art, especially in the bestiaries and stuff. So, coin zombies. There's a couple stats for coin zombies, and you can embed these, you know, these coins into the zombies and basically make them be like a loot pinata. Uh, when they die, basically they explode and coins come out and stuff. So you can have uh, a regular coin zombie. I believe they would have one d4 coins. And then there's the jackpot zombie, which would have like a a 1d20 uh, amount of coins. And I believe that there's like a headshot mechanics and stuff involved as well. Pretty uh, pretty funny. Uh, now it talks about also the the emperor, and uh, you know basically the emperor is with the coins are involved with living dungeons, and living dungeons are a huge thing in 13th age and these living dungeons they swallow up these old civilizations and they are you know living creatures of the earth that will literally come out of the ground eat a village or eat uh, a city and then burrow back down in the ground maybe they'll be not be seen for centuries maybe they may not be seen for weeks or months or years but every time that they eat something or a civilization or a town it builds another level inside of this living dungeon and if you have the background say the coin collector then you can actually look for these living dungeons and live a very dangerous life trying to collect 
all of these different coins that have been around for the entire uh, you know life of of the planet and the dragon empire and you know coins from all 13 different ages so it's actually a uh, pretty cool now uh, the dwarf king as you can see here here's a, a picture from the actual Kickstarter with the the dwarven towers and and you can see that these dwarven coins are stacked up and it talks about the dwarves how they deliberately as they're in a town or you know as they're in a you know the 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 town tavern or the inn or the pub they will take their coins and stack them up in the towers and they do that on purpose they do that to for one of two things one someone will try to steal them and they'll catch them or secondly uh, if someone bumps them over and messes up their towers and that basically invites the dwarf to a fight so uh, it's it's pretty cool I, I enjoyed reading that as well and then there's the Diabolist which actually involves games with imps so here's some different coin games some tricks that you can make them do and then here's uh, some stats for a couple new imps so that's pretty much the PDF. Uh, it is definitely a, a unique PDF. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's probably because of the you know the the Kickstarter that's going on right now. But it's a pretty nice little nine-page PDF. And like I said, it's by Rob Hines and Lynn Hardy. So there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about this? Do you like this PDF? I, I, I think it's nice. I think it has a, a lot of interesting lore. And, and you could actually have a lot of fun with you know the knowledge of the coins. Because most games don't talk about coins. But 13th Age, they do. They talk about the different coins throughout the ages. And how they're involved with the icons. And the dwarves. I mean, hell, who wouldn't want to start a tavern brawl by knocking some poor drunk dwarves or supposed dr dr drunken dwarfs all his towers over that could be some good rp and imps would you use the imps to make them do tricks and try to steal more coins from other people so leave a comment down below guys thanks again and we'll see you next month